you know, five years ago, if we'd had this panel, the first answer would have been Al Qaeda and jihadi terrorism. We haven't even discussed that today, essentially. So, uh, because Al Qaeda is essentially basically out of business. So, and since that's my area of professional expertise, <coughs> I have every reason to Bad to not. Right. It's like being a Sovietologist, a Sovietologist in 1989. I need to find something else. So, but in terms of, I think uh, something that we tend to sort of forget uh, in these discussions is, you know, Pakistan is going to be the fifth largest country in the world. It has the fastest growing nuclear program. It will have more nuclear weapons than Britain uh, may already have already. Uh, managing our relationship with Pakistan is incredibly important. It's obviously a very difficult one. And one of the more predictable foreign policy challenges of President Obama or President Romney or whoever is president in, uh, in, in the next uh, several years is sort of a Mumbai 2, by which I mean an attack on India that provoked the idea that terrorists can buy or acquire nuclear weapons is, is in the area of fantasy. What, in the, what is not in the area of fantasy is a terrorist triggering a nuclear war between India and Pakistan. India uh, exercised a great deal of restraint after the Mumbai 2008 attacks. Uh, the, the Indian government would find it hard not to do something uh, with a similar kind of attack in the future. Uh, in Pakistan has tactical nuclear weapons, so you can sort of sketch out the scenario. Uh, that is a, a major foreign policy challenge that any, any president will have to be thinking about very carefully in the future.